SteamOS is officially live. So that means making yourself a couch-ready Steam box or attempting to make your own handheld with some sort of best software meant for gaming is now available in an, in an easy to use package. This is the Steam Deck. It's the easiest to use PC handheld and recommended by many due to the fantastic software. Valve has spent a lot of time and energy making sure the software is very easy to use to make sure that you've bought every game that they could possibly sell you. It's absolutely devious, but the software that they've put together is just the correct option to use when putting together a gaming machine you don't want to use a mouse and keyboard for. And this is exactly what I was looking to do with my tiny machine here. It's an AMD Ryzen 9800 X3D, an AMD Radeon 9070 XT with 16 gigs of VRAM, all set in a 3D printed exoskeleton. This thing will get a lot of gaming done in a tiny package. But what if its final fate was to sit next to my PS5 and make it look bad? And this is where SteamOS comes in. It makes the entire machine feel like it's supposed to be operated with a controller and not a mouse and keyboard, while it's making PC power and feeling like a console doing it. Just smooth UI and cut down systems just for gaming. But there's a few stipulations and costs for a machine with all this gaming functionality and not much else. One of the biggest obvious downsides right away is we are losing Windows support. Meaning once you have Steam installed, it's a Linux based operating system, so you're being relegated to the Linux desktop. It's not bad and there's a ton of software to get your basic computing done, but it's not as friendly as Windows for basic computing tasks. So when you're doing this to one of your machines, you're going to want its sole purpose to be gaming. Valve even states themselves, users should not consider SteamOS as a replacement for their desktop operating system. So whatever you put this on, make sure it's going to be gaming. And to get gaming on SteamOS, they currently support devices with AMD CPUs and GPUs, in addition to an NVMe drive, targeted towards handheld devices specifically. Please note, SteamOS is not officially supported and is geared towards handheld PCs. PCs. What all of this boils down to is you need to have AMD software and an NVMe drive, and to disable Secure Boot. Then it's pretty easy to install SteamOS directly to your device. There might be some quirks. I tried a few different devices, and here are some that work better than the others. First, we started off with a computer, because I was looking to get the most performance, and after troubleshooting for a long time, I wasn't actually able to get the GPU to register, which kind of makes sense. SteamOS wasn't really designed for discrete GPUs, but I tried it anyway. And it works, but it doesn't really work great. You're going to be wanting that beefy GPU to render those sick fast frames versus the integrated GPU on the 9800X3D. It's just not what you're looking for, but it's kind of what SteamOS was designed to do. So it does work in desktop, but your mileage may vary. I'd stick to using Steam and big picture mode on Windows until support kind of catches up for this. But now we need to move to something else. This is the Lenovo Legion Go. It's a pretty decent Wii Windows handheld with a lot of chunky controls on it, and I hate it, but I also love it. With Windows on it, it makes it a little bit slow because you need to run Windows and need to interact with it like a device would be running Windows. So you're going to have to touch things and use the mouse that's built in and you're going to be booting a lot just to get directly into Steam or whatever gaming platform you're actually looking for like Xbox Game Pass or streaming services. So why not go there directly? So if you're using the Legion Go for mostly Steam games, why not just put Steam on it? So that's exactly what I did. And wow. That makes a world of difference. It boots right up with no issues. Controls go directly on and directly into Steam. Now you just choose your game and start gaming. You don't worry about anything else. Now this does come with a few drawbacks, like any Windows titles that specifically need an anti-cheat layer that run on Linux, it won't run on here now. So that means you could play Destiny previously on this, but can't now. But you can still stream it from a Windows machine to this, which you could do previously and Steam has built in. So if you have a desktop sitting in your house with the game on Windows you want to put it on, just stream it from there and go sit on the couch. You're good to go. Don't worry about it. In addition to that, your fancy mouse and software to run the sad mouse on the right uh, eraser over here won't work anymore. When you take it off, it just kind of blinks and doesn't do much anymore, which I'm assuming is because the software is gone that controlled it, which was on Windows. But for me, this is still a pretty large upgrade. The Legion Go was a clunky and a little bit tough to use, and it's now way easier to use and has just a better UI overall. And thinking about overall, what are we taking away from the SteamOS of 
official launch to other handhelds. Well, it's hit or miss for desktop computers. Great if you want to make a Steam box and have the correct hardware and play on a TV, but I would say it's not there yet for everybody. I would say if you're doing that, stick with Steam Big Picture and stream it from a more powerful gaming rig in your house. Streaming over Wi-Fi now and even if you have it wired up is really nice and I can barely tell the lag, especially on like first person games. So I would stick with that for desktop computers just for right now. But if we're talking about handhelds, this was really the secret sauce that all of the other handhelds were missing. SteamOS really just brings that official and easy to use software to a lot of different devices now. And they're supporting the second round of Legion Go's, the line of Asus ROG allies, and really that's it for right now. Oh, and yeah, the regular Steam Deck because it's just going to get Steam updates natively. So the Steam Deck keeps getting better over time and it's now starting to ingrain itself in the rest of the handheld PC community. So let me know down below if you've tested any other Windows handhelds with SteamOS and let me know if you're actually enjoying it because I think even with few drawbacks it brings, using Linux really is the way to go for PC handheld gaming. And if you're interested in the giveaway, subscribe down below because we are giving a handheld away every month because they're filling my basement. All you have to do is subscribe and we pick a random subscriber. Now I've got to go work on the Switch 2 review. Bye.